Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tech Twins. I'm Andrew. And I'm Mark. And we're finally back at UC Berkeley after eight months being in other places. So past spring semester, we studied abroad in Dublin, Ireland as a refresher. And this summer, we were both doing summer internships in different places. But now that we're back at school, how do we get back into the swing of things? So that leads us into tip number one, which is all about motivation. So now that we're seniors, there's this thing called senioritis and people have been asking us, how are you going to stay motivated during the last year of college, which is kind of a culmination of all these years of education. And the way that we think about this is by doing things that we're really interested in. So we're both studying both mechanical engineering and business, and we're at the point where we're finally taking core classes. Uh, and fortunately, these are classes that we're actually really interested in. So that's a way that you can stay motivated by finding things that you're personally interested in and then doing things that are related to that. So that can be taking elective classes or it can be joining different clubs. Uh, so that's kind of up to you, but it's all tied together by this thread of what you're interested in. And that actually leads me to our second tip, which is focus. Because once you're motivated and want to do different things, you can spend your time doing a lot of different things. And so I found that it's really important to focus on what matters to you and pick maybe four different categories of activities to focus on during the semester, like academics, extracurriculars, internships, and exercise. But even if these four things matter to you equally, it's not important to focus on them at the same time throughout the semester. Because during the beginning of the school year, internships might be hotter on your mind because that's when the recruiting timeline is but during the middle to end of the school year midterms and finals are kicking in so that's going to take priority yeah and so now that you understand what your priorities are you need to organize your schedule because as we all know there's only 24 hours in a day and usually most students have too many things that they want to do for the amount of time that there is in the day so one way that we stay really organized is by using google calendar and we use this to put in everything from our classes to exercise classes to even blocked out times for studying. So this is really helpful because sometimes I'm in a class and I'm thinking, okay, this is my last class for the day. I'm done. This is really exciting. And then I get a notification that says I have 15 minutes until some meeting that I set up with someone. So if I didn't have that in my calendar, wouldn't have known to go there. Uh, but I just have enough time to make that appointment. So yeah, Google Calendar is a lifesaver. Google Calendar also helps you keep your reputation up because you're not gonna be flaky because you're always getting those reminders for events like Mark said. But another thing that we use to stay organized is folders in the mail app on our Macs. During our freshman year, we used to just get a bunch of emails for different activities that we were doing or from the school or from our classes and they would all just sit in this inbox in our mail app. And so we would read actually all of our emails, but we have friends that would have 10,000 unread emails, 25,000 unread emails. So I think we were better than those friends, but there is still a better way to be than that. And so now we organize all the emails that we get into different folders based on what they're related to. So if we wanna come back in the future, let's say to 2018 recruiting, we'll be able to go and see all the different emails we got for interviews and uh, coffee chats that we set up during that time period. And it's really helpful because you can organize by class, by year, by personal project, by recruiting cycle, and you can leave your main inbox really clean so that any email that you get and it shows up in your inbox is something that you really need to look at and attend to. And once you do that, you can shift it to a folder and you can have peace of mind that you're not missing anything that you should be doing. Yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video. Those are our three back to school tips for UC Berkeley. Just to recap, the first is motivation. The second is staying focused. And the third is organizing your life, pretty much. We'll keep you updated on how these impact our school workflow throughout the semester, probably at the end of the semester. But for now, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And since we're back in Berkeley, feel free to comment any video suggestions or topics you wanna to hear in the future.